before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject! You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! No, I'm D. He's dumb. You're gonna tell me, right now, what- Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and, uh, They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog comes sniffing around this part of town. Rich fucks in the woods need to shake that. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please.
We have to go, now! What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up! found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. 
Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. If you don't tell me who did this, I'll make sure you end up the same way. Dead on your doorstep. Got it? I told you, I didn't kill her, and I don't know who did. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Come on, Big B. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. That couldn't hurt, I guess. Find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You were looking for Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret, you saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. This is You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. I'm saving that. <sighs> Real nice. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, 
You're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself. Immensely. You need to leave. Uh, now! What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose.
I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Well, that's appropriate. That's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Big B, you ready to apologize? What's going on? For hitting me in front of my boy. Did you fucking forget? I didn't, and neither did he. TJ, I know you're scared, but we would like to talk about what you found. If... That's okay with you. It's up to you, TJ. Will you help us? It would really help us, TJ. I want to help. Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but 
But someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No. <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. Call us if you remember anything else. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of... scum. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. An acid. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Snow's perfume. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize... Are you gonna be okay? 
You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. You still okay? I... Sorry, that, uh... Took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, 
Someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. That... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. 
I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's an honest question. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want- It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I- I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. 
You know, that shithole club, the puddin' and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie? Hmm, what do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a... mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. For fuck's sake! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Oh, you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. You! Stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, 
Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake! Fuck up, Hans! I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Unbelievable prick! Hey now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Jesus fuck! Do not touch that. 
You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Is it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. It's a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business. Take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Fifty-eight. Hmm. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Georgie? I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? It open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Uh, 
excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. 
It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he... He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked... Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but... She didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. 
Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! We don't have to do this. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! You don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. We shouldn't even be in here.
What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. God. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. <sighs> Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? We found Lily wearing something else, tailored after one of Snow's suits. It's possible that the dress is actually for Mr. Smith himself. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But then, what do you really expect from a psycho killer? Jesus, that poor girl. What did she walk into? She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? There's only one bite taken out of the apple. Whoever was eating it didn't get to finish. I think that might have been Lily. Mr. Smith attacked her while she was eating. He just jumped her while she was eating. It just keeps getting worse. God, this is all too weird, Bigby. Who is this guy? Killing her while she's eating? What? I guess she must have been doing it wrong or something. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really 
you're starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Thank <laughs> you. 